Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In today's tutorial, we will be adding our VCs on the network to the domain. In our previous tutorial, we have created a domain noornetworks.com. We have seen how to install Active Directory, promote a server to a domain controller, how to create OUs, username, gr sorry, users, group, and how to assign the users to a particular group. Moving on today, we will be adding our PCs to the domain which we created in our last tutorial. Before that, let me just give you a brief uh, about the advantage of adding a PCs to your domain. Basically, there are three major advantages, major benefits of Active Directory domain services. The first is centralized resources and security administration. The second one is single logon for access to global resources and the third one is simplified resource location. So in short, uh, for the end user it gives a benefit uh, that it, they can have a single logon to access all the global resources. At the same time for the IT administrator, it provides a centralized management and add on a security ad secure administration. So let's move to the configuration part. This is the server which we have worked on and we have created a domain no networks on this server. We have worked on the DNS manager if you remember in our previous tutorial. So moving on to the client PC one which we today we are going to add to the domain. The very first step that is a prerequisite to add the PC to a domain is you need to work on the IP configuration where you have to add a DNS server uh, for just let me show you go to Ethernet change adapter option. This particular PC is in the same network where I have configured our Active Directory. The Active Directory server IP address, AD server IP address. Let me show you the IP address for this server. It was 10.1.1.50 slash 24. And what I'm going to do over here is even this is in the same network now 10.1.1.150 slash 24. And the DNS server, the preferred DNS server, what I'm going to do is I will be adding the IP address of this AD server. Okay, Active Directory server, I will add the IP address on which we have configured the DNS also in our previous tutorial, uh, which is 10.1.1.50. Okay, this is the IP configuration and is a prerequisite. Straight away, we will move to the configuration now. We will be going to system properties to add the PC to the domain in Windows 10 you will be going to advanced system setting in system properties go to the first step computer name and click on change button over here you will find option just let me show you one more thing here too, there are two options to use a wizard to join a domain or a group work group click network id or it will open a wizard for you and from here you can simply follow the steps to add the pc to the domain or else you can just simply change from here to uh, this option is to rename this computer or change its domain or work group we will click on change over here over here uh, desktop name we are not interested to change the computer name over here okay we, we are much more interested to add this pc to the domain so as of now it is saying that member of domain work group at present it is a member of work group we will move to domain now click on domain over here just go over here and say give the domain name my domain name is newnetworks.com and click on ok it will ask you for the administrator username and password see enter the name and password of an account with permission to join the domain i will give the administrator username and password and simply click on ok you will see that uh, welcome to newnetworks.com domain it is a proof that your pc is successfully added to the domain it will ask you to restart simply restart your machine click on restart now Once the machine is started, you will see that the PC it will be in the domain.
okay guys the PC is restarted now so we will log into the PC now this is the work group ID but I want to access through the domain right you will click on other user over here since you are uh, accessing the PC from the domain user for the first time you have if you remember we have uh, created multiple users over here let just let me take you to the active directory going to active directory users and computers over here uh, either we can uh, access to the user which we have created uh, in the OUs or simply the user which we have created earlier also I have created uh, several users like IT underscore admin IT consultant IT programmer security admin let's uh, see for the IT admin over here uh, the user logon name is it underscore admin okay so what I am going to do just let me reset the password for this for resetting the password what you have to do right click on over, over here on this particular user for which you have to change the password okay click on reset password it will open a new window for you and you can simply type the password password which you want to give to user at the same time you want that user should change his password so what you will do user must change password at next logon you will keep this option check if you uncheck this user won't be able to get that option to change the password okay just keep this option check so that user can choose his own password and click on ok it is saying the password for ID admin has been changed go over here we'll try to log into the PC other user new networks slash it underscore admin and we'll enter the password now since we have selected the option that user must change the password at next logon it is saying you that the user password must be changed before signing in you will click on ok you will put the new password whatever the new password you want you can choose it and simply click this arrow so to submit it is saying that unable to update the password the value provided for the new password does not meet the length complexity or history requirement okay I will put the old password over here and I'm going to put the new password again it is even same okay because I am not using some complex password that is the reason it is giving me okay now it is change, changing the password it has changed the password your password has been changed okay And this is the first time after joining joining the domain we are logging to the PC using our domain username and password. So just to verify that we are added into the domain, we will again go to the system properties. In the same option. Scroll down, go to advanced system setting. Now, this itself is a proof that you are into the domain because it is not allowing you to do the any changes without an administrator password, domain administrator password. But again, we will move on. You have to being an administrator, you have to put the username and password over here. Yes, okay. And now going to computer name over here, you will see that full computer name is so and so and it is added to the domain which is newnetworks.com. So this is how guys we add a PC to the domain and moving on we will do one more thing. We will just try to
bring our domain node networks uh, sorry guys actually my browser is open over here okay let it be no networks.com we will try to ping no networks.com and we are getting a reply from 10.1.1.50 uh, over here there is a possibility guys like uh, you uh, before your machine was having some other IP address uh, like uh, your domain IP was some outside I IP address or something in that case uh, you will get a false result when you will try to ping your domain maybe there is a possibility you will get a reply from some other IP address or some uh, public IP address if you have added a, let's say for example if you have added a public domain IP address uh, public DNS IP address and if you're trying to ping there is a possibility you may get some false positive replies so in that case what you have to do simply you have to type a command IP config slash uh, IP config space slash flush DNS this will flush the DNS entry and you will get start to get a reply from your original IP address from where you was expecting the reply so that's all about the adding the PC to the particular domain and in the further tutorial of uh, tutorials we will be looking much more uh, about the server administrations for 2019 and one more important thing like uh, just let me take you to this uh, domain server we have added this particular pc in our domain and you will find this over here as well let me go to the ad server okay going to dns manager you will find that this particular pc is even added over there dns for go to forward lookup zone in this new networks.com you will see that uh, this particular entry is added dynamically this is a desktop which you added with the ip address 10.1.1.150 for the forward lookup zone even in the reverse lookup zone you will find the same entry over here this pointer is added 10.1.1.150 with this domain name so guys that's all about for today's tutorial thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial